What's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's on Beowulf. Back at it with another YouTube video. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. You get notified as soon as a video is uploaded. Also, to check out the Amazon store, Amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Also, too, check out the I Am Beowulf merch at BeowulfNation.com. Also, too, giving away free $25 in Crypto.com. Promo link is in the description. You get free $25. We each get free $25. So you can't beat that. Free is always good. And especially, too, um, when, you, when you use that promo link, you get uh, free $25 in CRO. It's a crypto cr coin for Crypto.com. And it actually... Just tonight, it reached its all-time high. So if you were listening to past videos and signed up with a free $25, you would have actually had huge gains in a short period of time without costing you anything. So uh, to a lot of these people that are here, there, or too scared to get their feet wet in crypto, you're missing out, and definitely get into it before it's too late. Woo! There's a lot to talk about this article. I've seen a bunch of stuff on TikTok talking about tsunamis hitting the whole entire uh, East Coast. It's very also bizarre too. Before we start talking this article, the Weather Channel posted a TikTok talking about aerial flooding down the whole East Coast too, hitting everywhere that there's going to be massive flooding, claiming it's from wind, and it's very bizarre because uh, there's this there, where this volcano is going in. I think part of it's going to hit. Break in half and go into the water and start this huge tsunami. Man, it's hard to tell. And, and what this article I'm going to read off here, it makes you just wonder what's really more going on than people want you to be aware of. Uh, I've been following this volcano for since September, and the stuff I see footage is just unbelievable. It just keeps spew spewing lava nonstop. And uh, yeah. Whew. Hopefully there's no tsunami hitting, but the alert is, is just like everywhere there's just said it's just going to start flooding for no reason. And uh, it is very bizarre to have the two relate with that. So let's talk about this article because, uh, man, we got to get this out here as soon as possible. It says, politician suggests bombing erupting La Palma volcano to stop lava flow. I don't think this has ever been done. You're gonna bomb a volcano to stop lava? How do you know this is gonna work? Instead of causing more problems, but it also shows too one of one of the biggest active volcanoes um, in the United States is actually in uh, Yellowstone Park, and I tell you, if that ever erupted, uh, the, the United States would be in big trouble. Also, too, there's a couple different volcanoes in California. I think one is pretty close to Los Angeles, too. And they had parts where it was starting to start smoking. So it's just, it, it's kind of, if you're planning places to live, you definitely better do some research. Because I tell you, there's nowhere that's like a safe zone. Well, I got my dog rolling around having fun. All the dogs are, it's, it's party time in here. My dog's just rolling around, scratching his back on the carpet. And then sneezing. He's having fun. Alright, so the volcano has been erupting for 42 days and shows no signs of stopping. That's what's crazy. 42 days of it spewing lava. Unbelievable the footage I've seen with that. It definitely, I've watched a couple live streams with it. It's just hard to believe. It says here, bombing the sizzling lava flow of La Palma. La Palma's still erupting volcano may be the only way to prevent the destruction the molten rivers are causing a spanish politician has suggested bombing runs could be used according to its advocate to redirect redirect the deadly lava from flowing into populated areas the la crumb vija volcano in spain's canary islands entered its 42nd day of eruptions Monday, November 1st. About 7,000 locals have been forced to flee their homes as lava flows fontaining 
from the volcano up to thousands of feet into the air have devastated homes, offices, offices, and large tracts of land throughout the southwestern part of the islands. Live silence, science previously reported. According to the latest survey performing by the European satellite system, Copacunas, the lava has destroyed 2,519 buildings and now covers 3.6 square miles, 9 point square kilometers, with the island bracing for even more destruction due to the series of earthquakes that have shaken the land in recent days. Casimir Kubrilo, the president of the municipal council of La Gramma, a neighboring island, that suggests the lava flows could be diverted through more extreme measures by getting a plane to bomb them. The crazy thing too is some of this footage I've seen, the lava flowing is like the, it's reaching up to like two stories. Like think of a two, not a two story house. Think of a two story building. The lava is up that high, blown. It's mind blowing crazy says here isn't there a plane that could fly and drop a bomb it arrives drops and boom then sends the lava in a different direction Kubrilo said during a debate on the canary islands radio fan can maybe it's madness it's definitely madness all right but get but i get the impression from technological point of view that it should be tried the big thing is what magnitude bomb would they be using what are they <laughs> think there should be a little more thinking before somebody just starts being crazy and just you know it, it's i'm flipping through the article a little bit more it, it gets even crazier what's talked about cupolo suggests stirred up criticism and produced a handful of memes depicting hi him alongside Bruce Willis in the film Armageddon in which the actor's character is tasked with destroying an earthbound asteroid with a nuclear bomb. But despite derision aimed at Kubler's outlandish proposal isn't totally un un unpresented in 1935 when lava flows through Hawaii's Manulu volcano began trickling perilously close to the town of Hilo, the U.S. Army com commanded by the future General George S. Patton dropped a 20 high explosive bombs onto the lava river. That's pretty, I never even knew that. I'm learning something myself too. This is, this is General Patton, if anybody knows World War II. Uh, it's funny, uh, I got three Voltaire here behind me. And General Patton had a uh, Willie that went to war in World War II with him. If you watch the movie Patton at the end, there's a white bull terrier. And I actually got a white bull terrier right at my feet right now. And his name is Willie, too. So it's, it's kind of a coincidence talking about General Patton. And General Patton owned a fair amount of bull terriers, too, besides Willie. It's a very interesting story with that. And it's even more interesting to drop, drop bombs before with lot. So it, if it's been done, it could work. Following the bombardment, the lava flow stopped. But the success of the mission has been disputed. Both pilots and geologists who flew on the bombing mission believed that the flow was slowing anyway, according to the U.S. Geological Survey and later appraisals made by the USGS support the conclusion the halting was condensed, the USGS said. More recent, in 1983, a more successful attempt was made by using dynamite to divert the lava flow of the eruption of the erupting Mount Etna away from a uh, Nearby village engineers placed around 900 pounds 
400 kilograms of explosives enclosed in a water-cooled pipe next to the flow. The goal was to blast the lava river into artificial trench. The experiment was, was successful. According to the engineers at the time, blasting most of the lava into an artificial trench where it was redirected, but the explosion also split another part of the lava stream, sending many locals out to the mountain with shovels to contend with the flow's unpredictable new branches. This just seems like there isn't really an answer. <laughs> ah, this is, this seems like, I mean, they're at least thinking of stuff. They're trying to think. At least they're doing something. They're not thinking of anything to do at all. So, mm, it, it's the scares. It's, it, this could be a tsunami hitting the East Coast. And uh, not just the United States. It could be Cuba, the Caribbean, the Bahamas. All those little islands would be underwater. And actually, these maps, too, they're talking in, the, like, anywhere around the Great Lakes would be flooding. Even if you were talking, I used to live in the Chicago area, Lake Michigan would flood and flood the majority of the Chicago land area would go underwater. So it's just not the East Coast, if that happened. It's just, like, it's hard to believe the Spain's military has not responded to Curbelo's suggestion and neither has Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez however Sanchez has promised to accelerate aid deliveries to devastated residents the eruption has caused the eruption hasn't caused any deaths and life has been remained re relatively undisturbed for 85,000 residents who live away from the island's severely affected western side. The volcano is close to reaching its 1949 record of 41 days for its longest time spent erupting. You just figured, what if some of these people I had to post some photos throughout this, but what do you figure these people, if there's that many people affected, that people would want to get off that island? Because I tell you, I would get off. And maybe just myself, living somewhere where we're in a prone area for hurricanes, you never know. You have to leave, and you know, if it's a high category four or five, I mean, everything you own could be destroyed. And sometimes certain things are just not worth it like sentimental things you know like you gotta be prepared whatever you could put in your car is what you have and everything else could be destroyed so make sure now you know like everybody's to their own if they think they need certain items in their life me stuff will get destroyed and there if I, I would rather worry about my life my family my pets before anything else and get off that island if i was those people i would not be sitting there and waiting and see what happens but a lot of it too where do they go you know you, you, that's where you call home very you know stuff you got to be thinking about and it, 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 a volcano can erupt here in the united states too so uh, it's you gotta always think too if you're from the united states it's not just oh it's far away it's not here it could happen here at any time and most people wouldn't be aware of it but uh, that's about with the article. So comment in the bottom. What do you guys think about this? Have you seen stuff posted on social media talking about this volcano? Have you seen stuff posted on social media that this a tsunami could hit the East Coast? Um, maybe when this video's up, we'll find out something's already happened. But uh, yeah, I figured to cover this because this is I saw this article and again it was, uh, I, uh, I found this article or not the article I read, but found out about this by scrolling through TikTok. And sometimes this uh, TikTok, I, for some reason, get a lot of uh, 
clips of stuff that I'm just like, it's it's hard to believe. But, uh, yeah, it's going on. So, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. You get notified as soon as a video is uploaded. Also, too, check out the Amazon store, Amazon.com slash shop slash I am Babel. Also, too, check out the I am Babel merch at BabelNation.com. Also, too, that free $25 in crypto currency from Crypto.com. Link in the description. Sign up. It's totally free to enter to get that with my promo link. Be driven to win. Remember, every day is Earth Day. Stay mighty and keep strong.